The Penguin, HBO's The Penguin. Um, it's been getting a ton of great reviews. Really a lot good. of people vibing with The Penguin. Shout out to Colin Farrell. Yeah, he's Shout killing it. The Colin performance Farrell. that he has displayed <laughs> as Oz Cobb. He's, Wait, yeah. wasn't it Colin Farrell? Yes. Col- mm-hmm. Shout out to Colin Farrell. <laughs> yes. Yeah, shout out to that. Man. Like. <laughs> You got me. He's a great one. He's one of the greats. He's, He's one of the greats. Okay, okay. We have too many. Okay, we can't give out these. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, whoa, so whoa, it's, whoa, whoa. it's Sean Evans, yeah. we took, Channing Tatum, Brian, Brian Steele, shout out to Young Thug's lawyer, and yes. then Colin Farrell. We yeah. took out we yeah. took Jack, out Jack Black. Black. Okay, we, we have four. Black. Yeah, we got to, you know, Mount okay. Rushmore's four. We got to, you know, do a little swapsy. Damn. Colin Farrell, he killed this role, the Penguin. I love I was like, can, can I you do guys what? explain it to me? The penguin? Yes. Save on. Take it away. It, it's, I more, don't mind, I don't mind. it's more everything. Just tell me about it. <laughs> Save on. Take it away. It's more like a, 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 <laughs> a crime mob type of yeah. uh, series. Okay. It takes place in the DC universe. Did you watch the Batman with. Um, Robert Edward, yeah, I was about to say Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> <laughs> like, did you watch the Batman <laughs> with the Twilight guy? It, yes, I almost Robert cried Pattinson. because I was so sleepy. So. <laughs> Damn. You're talking about like the gothic. Damn. Yeah, that shit had me tired too, Batman. Batman. No, I was like, I, I hated it. No, yeah, we, no a lot of us did. Okay, okay, Collectively, thank God. For sure. And I don't know if I can say that, We're but it wasn't the greatest. Okay. Well, wait, wait, it relates to that? So, yes, it takes place in that universe. <gasps> this character was actually Whoa. in that movie. They took the character and made a spinoff series on HBO. Uh, Warner Brothers, Discovery, they owned the IP, so it was easy for them to say, hey, we're going to take this character from this movie and put it over here. Yep. Wow. Um, the show received really, really great reviews. Yeah. Now, this is when I get really conflicted working at HBO. What's that? Mm-hmm. I have saw this show like month, like weeks ago, so I knew how it was going to end. I, and in the moment, I'm like, oh my God, this is really great. You've been keeping really it great. to yourself the whole time. Yeah, I don't be snitching when it comes to work. Yeah, that's, when that's I, what's yeah. up. When it comes like to work, that. I don't snitch. You, you can't. And I knew you would have really loved it, Alex. I know, because these last few episodes. Crime shows. Oh yeah, I love me like, some good. Stuff. Bad boys, bad boys. I, lo- I used to love cops. I used to love cops. Yeah, so uh, really phenomenal no, no, show. The show, y'all. The I show. Think, I think. Every- <laughs> oh, just had the purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show. <laughs> all, all of all of the cast. They, it, it was just a great show. I, I expected to clean up at the awards. Yeah. Um, there's also a companion podcast. Make sure y'all go check that out. Really, really done well. If you care about anything behind the shows, we're not getting paid. Uh, for You're this not. advertisement, but I was a part of that. I was uh, one of the producers on there, hey. um, and so it was really dope. I got to kind of be behind the scenes, and sometimes like I'll work on shows or you know just different documentaries, whatever, and it just doesn't resonate in the way that I hope it does or you want it to, right? But then when you see something actually hit, like people are saying this is a top 10 HBO show of it's all time, there. like, yeah. and there's only one season, so for people to say that, yeah. um, it means a lot, I, I just wanted to highlight that, it's been really dope. And you want to know what's dope about this, Reggie? This show was centered around the villain. Yeah. <gasps> like, a lot of the times when we get movies, TV shows, are centered around the hero <gasps> and the good like guy. the Joker? Yo. He's one of those, yeah. He is definitely one of the villains, Ooh, yeah. Oh, look at me saying something, <laughs> yeah. I yeah, into it, yeah. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because the running but, joke is, guys, because I'm not the movie girl on the pod. Like, I don't know, I don't, I can't name five actors. So it's like. Feel you. <laughs> but you know Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell. Oh, <laughs> you don't know Colin Farrell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Colin. Yeah, no, Colin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see. <laughs> CF. Oh. CF is crazy. Crazy. <laughs> but yeah, that was dope because we finally got to see that. And I thought that was cool because I was a little bit conflicted. When the show starts off, I'm really cheering this villain on, Reggie, with the bad foot. I'm really cheering this motherfucker on, knowing that he's a villain in the whole DC plot, right? Mm-hmm. And as the show progresses, you get to see why he's a villain. <laughs> but HBO Max, etc., they did such a good job of just, I guess, just showing the human side of a villain. Mm-hmm. And then just showing why they are the way they are. Mm-hmm. I don't want to spoil or anything too much, but there is an occurrence halfway through the series that had me stuck. When you think about your family members and things of that nature, like wait, should you guys just do you guys like want to talk about the ending for the people that watched it or no? No, I, I mean I want to give people because the the show just ended this last week, so we'll mm-hmm. give people to resonate with it. Okay. There may be some people who are like, oh wait, I'm gonna tap in because we're talking about it, so I don't want to mm-hmm. give it away. Really good uh, because it's still really fresh, but. Um, like Alex said, the show writers, the people that were involved in this series, I think they did a really great job of making you forget that, yo, this dude is a villain. Like, yo, he is here to fuck shit up. I forgot. <laughs> like, we're not supposed to love him. Mm-hmm. And then I think in the finale specifically, 
I almost cried. Yeah, that was. I'm a, not gonna lie. Like, that was a lot. I, great acting. It, it was a great acting, great a acting. great setup. Yeah. Um, I I almost shed a tear, and that is the type of art that you want to consume when you feel something. Mm-hmm. I felt something watching this finale. Mm. Got chest pain. Oh and my shit. god! And TV is like lackluster these days for me. Like I'm not on the Love Is Blind train like you guys. Don't do that. <laughs> so, oh, don't say it like that. No, nah, do that's that. y'all shit though. I watch everything. Low quality know. bullshit. So, what do you like, have against Love Is Blind? <laughs> nah, you know. Social experiments. No, you know, like I used to be like that too. I never used to watch uh, reality TV. Like it's it was recent for me. Like last two years, and now I'm tapped in. So I, I get what he feels yeah. like. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's like I, stupid. Like you know, nah, it's, I wouldn't call it stupid. It's interesting. It is. I wouldn't Social experience. I'm just saying, mm-hmm. yeah. comparing it to high quality, scripted consumerism, stuff. you know, yeah. I mean, I, I, just I don't know. So, just like, Love is Mono is, is elite entertainment, though. Like, for that's sure. quality. The Bachelor like, is a classic. Elite for low quality. Now you're being condescending. What? Yeah. I feel like yeah, he tried. He tried because it's a great tried, show. Yeah, like, it's a great tried. show. Well, uh, but speaking know. of like uh, crying and stuff like that, so yeah. I want to bring up. See, I could participate now because I actually watched the show from uh-huh. once. Uh-huh. It's called Your Honor. Who's the lead uh, actor? Brian Cranston. Yo, what was you? <laughs> That's my twin. I, w- I wouldn't have known the answer. Yeah. I, I, know know. Wouldn't have known I know the that. Answer. That's why I was just, you know, cutting to the chase. But, um, <laughs> so it's a it's a show about. I could say this part because it, they literally show it in the preview. So yeah. it's about a judge in New Orleans. His wife passed away, and then he's left with his son. But literally in the first episode, this is a show that I need because I can't. I am only tapped into a show if some crazy shit happens within thirty seconds. Like oh, someone, someone needs to die or some shit. <laughs> and so the son of the judge. Got into a really bad car crash and killed something, some a very important child in the community. Oh, damn. And the and the and the dad is a judge, so it, he it gets very tangled and very le- legal issues are involved. Like he's put in a very hard place. But the finale, I cried yeah. so much. Do you guys remember what happened? For sure, I just finished the finale not too long ago. Like I cried. so so much because the whole I'm gonna spoil a little bit, but you guys have mad, mad time to watch it. <laughs> so it's basically about a dad doing everything for his son, like to not get the son in trouble, like doing risking everything, like sweating all day, like breaking his back, doing everything. And the finale, like I cried, like my head hurt so much because I could not stop crying. And I was with John. God bless his heart because he's so used to me just crying all the time, <laughs> like. Yeah. And like I think it's it like I watched it happen the the finale and then I just could not stop crying because it w- I was like he did all the why are you laughing I'm sorry. no no keep going because like he did all that for that ending and I just it, I think father stuff like father son father daughter stuff hits me extra hard yeah. like, especially in a black community so wait that wasn't that like was a black, black community yeah. <laughs> oh, well, they it were was in a black though. community though. especially in the black community and like cause for me uh, like Pursuit of Happiness Will Smith John Q like those yeah. are movies that really stuck with John me John Q oh, man. and yeah, that was we tough watched one. the finale on a Friday night the mm-hmm. next day on a Saturday went to brunch had like a little pizzeria <laughs> I started crying <laughs> no you didn't but in you know what real? like I just <laughs> it stuck with me so I'm literally tearing up right now because he just loved his son so much see that family love you could relate <laughs> to and I really oh, enjoy like, shows like Your Honor oh because you get to see content whereas there's a good person that is forced to get into some things that they're not accustomed to doing because of the circumstances that, White. that they were dealt with right Breaking and, Bad exactly yeah. Breaking Bad John Q I love shows like that 